Hi everyone, welcome and thanks for joining me for Baldur's Gate 3 tonight on the road to Baldur's Gate. On the road to the city, I believe. Uh, well, I thought we were just going on the road to the city, but then a whole thing just happened. And now we have more worms in our brain and we are half a lipid, so yay. Good for us. Um, we're level 10 now, we just leveled up. And uh, our wizard tiefling and shadow heart are having a romance. Her hair is now white because she's no longer a follower of Shar and I suppose wants wants a change, right? You know, just energetically as like a witch. They say that people often change their hair after like going through different things in life because hair, hair holds energy. And even, you know, that doesn't mean that you have to like cut off all your hair because, you know, something like happened or something. Like, no. But like more of just like a symbolic like cutting of some, like even like a trim or just like a chop. Is like an energetic thing. Just saying. If you ever feel the urge to just change your hair sometimes, it's a, there's, there's a reason. <laughs> Uh-oh. Leave Act 2. Okay, we've officially done it. We got a Steam we achievement. Wow. I liked the old voice better. I'll be honest. I... that's... A lot more unsettling. I feel like they are purposefully making this creepier as time goes on. Like, um, okay, it's fine. It's fine. It's normal and fine and good. Time to press ahead. The city is close. Ooh. Having my former peers will be watching, no doubt, waiting for my return. We should do what we can to find them. What they know could help us. I should grab a Starion soon. Oh wow, we're just like here. Are we? Where are we? We're somewhere. I don't know if I should loot these random backpacks that are sitting here, but if they have healing potions, they don't anymore. Yeah, brainworm, a fun backstory idea for a DD campaign. I bet. Um, excuse Hello. me. I can't find my mom. Immediate missing child. Okay, the first thing that just came to my mind when seeing this kid, I don't know why. I don't know if this is me being like super paranoid or maybe like I'm just randomly onto something. I feel like this kid could be like not th the kid and could be someone else in disguise. Because like we remember that we saw that earlier with Orin. Orin can do that, and the Mind Flayer, they just made it very clear with the Mind Flayer that the Mind Flayer can change shape and stuff. I immediately don't trust this kid. Just saying. Just saying. Jenna! Uh, my cat is Grub. He's shy. I'm not. My mum is called Emery. She went to go get some herbs for her spots. She was sick, and she was supposed to come I might back just be, like, day. really paranoid. This might that just be... last ten day, though. Might just be a kid that needs help. Like, uh... Sounds like your mom is probably dead. Let's go find a guard. They'll be able to help you. Uh, sure? Guards blow like petards. They don't help us. <laughs> um, they all approved of that. Here, take a, a few coins. Oh, um, thank you so much. I don't have anything and you can't do anything without any coin. I'll pay you back when I find my mom. Weird. What a strange first interaction. Wait, Rivington. Huh. Where are we? There's like a bunch of people here. Where do I begin? That's a cat. Oh, we gotta go make sure that I speak with Scratch. I've got to do that. I keep forgetting. But let's speak with the cat. I'm just a cat. P -p please talk to Yenna. Scared? Why are you so noisy? Because there's something suspicious. May I pet you? Um, what happened? N nothing good. I don't think she was so very sick. Maybe she made like a cat and went off to 
to spend a last life. She mistreating you? Yenna is my best friend. Okay. She's kind. Help her, not me. What? May I pet you? Like what? Is it? I'm. But please don't. <laughs> Please don't. Okay. <laughs> okay. So we got some refugees walking around, and then we got some people here. I don't know. Let's pick a place to to start. Hello. Where we're going? What kind of inn is it? Will there be feather beds? You guys have anything to say? Son, that this is a holiday to spare oh. him the truth. We don't have homes to go back to. Oh. You might want to tell him the truth, though, at some point. You know, might make it easier. Vincent, thank you. Welcome. Feeling like a tiefling today? Signposts. Okay, I will keep an eye out for some signposts. I'm just kind of... Gonna head in here. This seems like a good place to start. Everyone deserves the chance to make some coins. Back. You're in my house. The heart it seems like a good empty. moment to talk. The place was empty. Keep those thugs away from my family. Denuvia! Get these squatters out of my house now! Arthur, sweetheart, you paid me and my boys to be caravan guards, not cattle wranglers. If you want us to get our <laughs> hands dirty, it'd be our pleasure. But that'll be extra. What? Does no one we meet ever get along? <laughs> the army of the absolute is mere days away and you're bickering over property ownership? I'm gonna say that. Like, guys, wh what's, what's happening? This is my home. I may pride myself on my philanthropy, but I draw the line at being a halfway house. Zenobia and I are just navigating a slight contractual disagreement. Not that it's any of your concern. We failed a roll. We failed an insight. I feel like it would tell me that he's like lying or something. An agreement? Agreement? Why should I negotiate with the vermin who've stolen my house? I've got nothing to say to them. Like, let him stay? I don't know if I like this guy very much. He doesn't seem... Like, I get that it's your house. Like, it is his house. But I, I'm not helping him. I'm not helping him. Hey, enough bonuses because... Okay, you just asked, how do I like the choice of accepting the Emperor's gift so far? I like it very much now because it gives me big, big, <laughs> like, what was that? Like, plus how much I got right there? I love, like, the plus six on everything. Fine, like, fine. oh. They can stay. Big persuasion. Don't, don't blame me when they turn on you like the mongrels they are. I don't even know who's staying here. Hustle, sweetheart, what? But it won't work on me. What does that mean? You've stepped on the guild's that mean? toes. And we'd like a little something to make it better. The guild, a loose coalition unifying every criminal is this like the thieves in guild? the city under one collective hmm. rule, from cut purses to contract killers. Oh. What does she want? What, money? Okay, I need to think very carefully about this. Do I want to immediately make an enemy of this guild, who apparently is just part of the city? I don't know if I do. 
basic welcome. Yes, the tiefling horns go through the hat. Mm -hmm. I, I need to start, like, dyeing the clothes a little bit more. Maybe we'll have, like... Maybe more of a purple vibe would be, like, good. But I'm, I appreciate that they have, like, little holes cut out, apparently, for the horns. I don't know how it works. Magic, I guess. Perks of being a wizard. <laughs> Uncle Peaches, thank you so much for gifting a sub to Basic. It's so good to see you, and I hope your playthrough is going well, too. Welcome, welcome. Okay. So, aren't the, the thieves bad people? Yes. Yes. That's true. Like, okay, do we want them to be our friends? Like, is it fine if there are enemies? I don't know if we want... Like, hmm, what is my approach here? No, we don't normally, like, negotiate with bullies, but that's what I'm saying. Like, if we don't want them, like, on our bad side, like... <sighs> or what? I'd say you'll live to regret it, but honestly, I'm not so sure you'd live. We should be able to roll this now with our Illithid influence. I can't believe I became, like, Mind Flayer Lady. Okay, it's good. Um, Yeah, I'm just gonna intimidate her. Fought and killed an avatar of Miracle recently. Merkel, right? Yes. I think I can handle you. Yeah. You're serious. Let's forget this like, unpleasantness uh, ever happened. Actually, come on, boys. I might die. <laughs> We've got places to be. <laughs> yeah, she's like, actually, I'm okay. All right, good call, guys. No, we're not gonna let her boss us around. We just killed Merkel. Like, you can't boss us around. Also, I am so not used to seeing Shadowheart with light hair. That is different. Oh my gosh. Okay, who who did I let into this house? I don't even know who I let into this house. I don't even know. Heartless scum. I'm a reasonable woman. We could easily work something out in a house this big. Fair enough. I'm not quite sure why you stood up for us like that. But I won't say I'm not grateful. Thanks. And may Torm keep you. How'd you end up here? Same way lots of us did. Trying to get away from the army of the Absolute. If you had the chance to put a roof over your family's heads after being on the run for Torm knows how long, wouldn't you? Um. Okay. We will stay. Here it goes. For now. I just hope he doesn't pay anyone else to come sniffing round. Oh. Thank you. Uh-oh. <laughs> and may Torm keep you. Yeah, I might consider respecting Shadowheart as well. I was thinking about it. Have her go, like, full healer. You're the first person in this city. Yeah, thank you. Okay. Will is inspired. I would assume yes. Okay, well, we did that. That's... Good, I guess. What is this? Kick them all out. Any of the refugees give you hassle, come to us. We know how to handle them. Oh. Okay. Circus poster? Dad. What's that the circus of the last days has returned. See Dryad's Gin and Dribbles the Clown Dribble. back with a new act. You said this was just a man in a suit. Why is it drooling? Uh, hi. Stinks of cheese. Between his piggy toes. How dare you? What in the hell is all of this? A necessity, good sir. 
The Steel Watch loves pretending sweet Rivington doesn't exist. So we have decided to protect you, dear patrons. <laughs> no need to thank us. You'll be allowed in once I've done this batch. Next! Uh. Hello, hello, and welcome to the Circus of the Last Days. The finest extra planar circus there is. Mm. <gasps> A circus! Can we go? Oh, she's pumped. Um, Tamed a ghoul. Impressive spellcasting, yeah. Oh, uh, this is Benjamin. Say hi, Benji. Me! Benji here checks all our patrons to make sure none of you are vicious murderers. <laughs> Can't be too careful. New sound alert. <laughs> well, enough of this. The circus Me. is a place of joy and distraction, so uh, come inside and forget your worries. Oh. Okay. Not a problem, dear patron. Benji just has to check if you're a vicious murderer. Benji? <laughs> what is Benji doing? Ah! <sighs> Brain juice smells like piss and what? iron. <laughs> <laughs> no like. Oh, well, that's a first. Usually I'd allow you in, but in these times, I can take no chances. Move along. No circus for you. No harm. Oh my gosh, we have so much proficiency. Oh, damned oh. if I'm not a sucker for big eyes and a heartfelt plea. Very well. Welcome to the circus of the last days. Have fun and be sure to catch the star of our show, Triples the Clown. The circus of the last days yeah, has returned. Okay. See dry Here we are, the circus disguise the kid. Back with a new act. Zara the mummy. Oh dear, what have we entered in? Oh. Oh. We got this, we got this. Come on, we got this. You realize she is mining putting on face paint. Oh. She has them to sell. Sure. Mm. <laughs> okay, let me see. Does this work? It, that's so cursed. No. What? This is so. Why? That's horrifying. Oh no. Oh no. Harlac might enjoy some face painting. Oh, should I get her a kit too? Okay, let's see how that looks. I gotta do it. Good point. Oh, is this, are they different? Oh, that's a disguise kit. Oh, that's kind of cool. We're adopting someone else's. See, I'm telling you, they are ingraining into my mind right now how people can be changed into someone else's appearance. They are, that is, that has to be intentional. I'm buying one of those because that sounds interesting. And then I'm buying one for Carlac. Making me sweat. Okay, Carlac. <laughs> I've got a long Did I talk to Shadowheart? Did Carlac have anything to say? Soldier, yes. <laughs> this is it. We're almost to the city. First through Worms Crossing, then on to the lower city. Oh, it smells the exact same. Ten years on, but still home. Incredible. I'm sorry, Carlac. You're really pumped to be here, and I'm so distracted. <laughs> it's okay. Won't last long, anyways. <laughs> Wait, welcome, welcome, everyone. Oh, that's good. Oh. 
Okay, what's next? Very well. This was only the first thing here. Approach! Ugly one! The ugly one. Uh, I mean, kid. <laughs> Who's he calling ugly, I wonder? Um, what? You are very loud! Yes! Yes! Behold! Akabi's Wheel of Wonders! Spin! To win prizes beyond your tiny imagination! And make your miserable life more bearable! Oh, the wizard option says no. <laughs> What does he say to that? Anything? Then Akabi pities you! Be gone, miserable one! Oh, I could go okay. for a good meal. Carlac's gonna talk to him. Oh, Let's see what happens. We got we gotta find out. We have to find out. Approach! Ugly one! Behold! Akabi's wood spin! Okay, 500. Rises beyond your tiny imagination. What can Akami we win? Has traveled across the plains, burning and conquering all. Win the spoils of such conquest. Or, if luck smiles upon you, win the grand prize, the jackpot. No more questions. Spin or don't. Won't say what the jackpot is. That's odd. See what happens. Let us see if you have luck's favor. You cast fog or darkness and steal everything. <laughs> Maybe. Perception failed. Alas, no jackpot for you, ugly one. But you may have this. You are welcome, putrid mm. one. Return again to try and you. What is that? An exceedingly loyal gem that just so happens to return to its owner's pocket if sold. Very useful, were it not for the fact that it is the circus genie who owns it. <laughs> ah. Ah. Hmm. Well, that's suspicious. Tempted to just go steal all his stuff, right? I don't know. Let's keep going for now. Book of Cheezomancy. Will he let me read it? Will he get mad? Sometimes they let me read them. Sometimes they get mad for touching stuff. If you come to this book today, I humbly request you to consider that the wild art of cheese magic is no laughing matter. Yes, indeed, for while one might think to amuse themselves at the conjuration of fermented milk through the veil, curds can be a most dangerous tool. A cheesard can, of course, bludgeon his enemies with a young and vigorous wheel of Wardhaven. But those of a more subtle inclinations will learn the benefit of destroying their enemy standing with a curse of blue cheese sweat. When learning the arts, one must be able to imagine a delightful runny Luren and cider pairing, as well as the gassy agony of the lactose intolerance. Okay, that's not what I was expecting. Hmm. What's back here? Co-owner of Stony and Boney's Bespoke Creations. I want to talk to Stony. Hello. Pickpocket him? Ooh. Yeah, I think I will have to go spin again. I'm, I'm thinking I'm gonna have our wizard spin. Darling, we have a customer. <clears throat> Is your camp drab? Dreary? Then you have come to the right place. Browse our bespoke stony and bony creations. Or commission a statue in your likeness. A statue? It is our most sought after service. <laughs> Can I get a statue of Shadowheart? <laughs> I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have Shadowheart talk to him and get a statue of herself. <laughs> oh 
You shall be thrilled and delighted. I know it. There we go. Wondrous. My wife will be most pleased. Oh, send her my regards. Oh, it's <laughs> been an age since your last break, my darling. <laughs> <laughs> they seem nice. Okay. Um, let's have Shadowheart talk. No spoilers allowed. No spoilers. I don't mind some hints and tips, though. Ah, the adventurer returns. Care to purchase a bespoke, stony and bony creation? Can we get a Shadowheart statue? I'm doing that. My yes. wife shall be delighted. Five thousand are her favorite, particularly when their facial structure is as unique as yours yeah if we got the statue with the clown makeup would it transfer over right like i don't know <laughs> is it is it like a colored statue like what are we talking right um that's a lot but i don't care here <laughs> anything for shadow heart <laughs> stony darling let us put this towards <laughs> our getaway in the moon oh, good. Isles. now we can have an I'll altar have to your statue shipped to your camp you shall love it. Uh, we guarantee it. <laughs> okay, now we can we can have a, a good altar for Shadowheart. Go leave some flower offerings for <laughs> Clowns severed hand, excuse me? Severed hand with a ring on a finger. The ring was smelted with a grinning face on the band. Oh, oh, hungry little hobgoblin. Want a treato? I has lots of treatos. Treato? And magics and junks I finds. Uh, don't worry. I only takes junks <laughs> from dead people. I is nice. Very nice. <laughs> How often do you loot corpses? Oh, lots of times. The beasts ate a kiddo the other day. <laughs> and I got some good stuffs. <laughs> I, I, I mean, uh, circus is safe. Do not uh, worry. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. Yes! I has lots of stuff just for you. Okay. Popper. <laughs> All right, well, interesting bye enough. Bye now. Yeah, maybe I'll come back soon. He's got some, some random stuff that maybe I'll need at some point. Again, again! Ah, uh, Lucille! Hello! It's Pose Grapevine, then Pivot Step. You're, you got your skeleton Jacob. jesters. You have the grace of my great grandmother's missing leg. Ah, uh, and Boris. Boris! Put some sensuality into those lovely hip bones. I know you have it in you. Step it up. Using necromancy for a circus act. That's a new one. Raise some dead and you're like, no. Don't you dare fight. You dance. We are decades from that. I hope they could open for dribbles. Not that my star needs the, the support. The hands in the background. But at this rate, who knows? Call me Lucretius. Ringmaster, necromancer, bringer of the night. Oh. And wine lover extraordinaire. Normally, I'd invite you into my tent for a lovely vintage. But these graceless skellies need my full attention. Enjoy my circus, darling. Okay, can I talk to them? Get it right this time. Skeleton looks beyond you, frozen, awaiting command from its mistress. Okay. <laughs> Weird. The amiable art of necromancy. Itchy and scratchy. <laughs> okay. Uh, what else are we gonna find around here? Huh. A locked gate. 
Hmm, I wonder what's back there. Maybe we should go. Shadow whiskers. Oh, we have speak with animals, I'm pretty sure. Another. Yes. Good. Thank you. Thank you so much for subbing. That guy you know appreciate it. Thank you so much for the prime sub here. Welcome on into our witchy lair, and thanks so much for supporting the stream. Was there an opulent chest somewhere? Oh. Yeah, I... Don't worry, I'm doing my initial round of investigation, and then we'll decide if we want to do some stealing, or, like, what we want to do here. Another good? Examine the cage, sure. While the cage is sturdy, the lock is old. It could be jammed shut, so not even a key could open it. Huh. Why, why, why good? Like, like why? My time comes. I will show you, all of you. Show, show me what? Look. See. They grin. They laugh. They shine with innocence. But it is a lie. Every one of you is vicious. Cruel. Oh. You kill my mate, steal my cubs, I roar, break my cage. Break, yeah. You die. You all die! Sure thing, Pussy Cat Leader. <laughs> I'm just gonna do that real quick. Just... No! Coward! I feel bad though. I feel bad. Oh, maybe I should have helped her. I immediately regret that. I think he looks fine. I immediately regret that. Like, I can't blame the murder kitty for having, like, murder instincts when it's being, like... Ah. What if I could have helped it? What if I could have helped it? Okay, let me talk to this lady. Like, can we, like, free them safely somewhere, like, uh, not here? Don't get too close. Ah. Or Crimson here might decide you look tasty. Oh, I feel bad now. Already, I didn't realize it was... I thought it was going to be, like, a subtle break of the lock. It wasn't going to know. It definitely was going to know. Oh. Maybe I should try to save it. I don't think I can. Well, well, I don't want to just open up the cage. I wanted to try to talk to it, see if I could like, get it to like not murder everyone. I'm not sure if that's a thing though. Hi there. Hungry? I might have just saved everyone, it's true. And I had blood breaks. Something else? What am I giving here? Maybe we should go. Okay. Well, I fed it. I don't know. Can I talk again? Meat? No, nope, that's it. Okay. Well, I helped one of them. Oh, I wish I could help this friend here. Hello. I thought you a hunter. Oh, we can talk again. Wrong. You're prey. Small. It's like slim, you were afraid. Pathetic. Oh. No, I feel bad. It's okay. It's all right. Oh. I'm sorry. Okay, are we gonna go see what the heck dribbles the clown is? Let's go see. Oh, this is gonna be normal, I'm sure. Buddy 
the dog is my very best friend. Do you know why? Why? Because with him, anything is possible. Way! <laughs> Between you Something and me, for dribbles, thank I you. love a good clown. And Dribbles is the it best. Apparently, Will likes Did you too. hear what? about Why? the scarecrow who lost Why? a fight? Have we also seen him? I mean, yeah, we, we've been here before too, I guess. So, um... Uh, <laughs> Relax and enjoy the show. No, I think we're gonna simply watch. Uh. <laughs> Slurp, thank you so much though for the prime sub. Welcome to our witchy lair. Appreciate the support. For dribbles, of course. Yes, thank you. <laughs> I'm not gonna interfere in this. I wanna know what happens. He got the stuff in, kicked out of him. Wahey! Oh, you're all such good friends. I've had a wonderful time, but his makeup's better I than our clown makeup. Oh. oh well, if you insist. <gasps> How about a magic trick? But first, I need a volunteer with nerves oh, of geez. steel and the heart of a lion. Oh, okay. Um. Who will it be? <sighs> Who? The hair on the back of your neck raises as a shiver oh. passes through you. Oh. You, my special assistant. Come on up. So this whole thing so far, I, it's a really random little indie game. I'm sure most of you guys haven't heard of it, but if you've ever played the game West of Loathing, they have a whole creepy circus in it, and this is very much reminding me. <laughs> oh, goodness. Okay. I think my friend Shadowheart will make a far better. <laughs> no, we go up there. We go boldly go up there. Ask Shadowheart. I know that's really funny. No, I'm not gonna make Shadowheart do it. No, we're going. And my other game, I go. I go boldly. We're gonna we're gonna do this. Come on. We're not gonna let a clown intimidate us. We are a far creepier clown. All right. Let me get that straight. A round of applause for the stalwart heart! Here goes. Now, I always tell children that they're special, that each and every one of them is unique. Tell me. What makes you special? What did we fail? That's unfortunate. Um... <laughs> unique about my brain? My courage. I do something even if it scares me, Mr. Clown Man. Boring! Boring! Anyone can do that! Hmm. You, my friend, are the most special person in the uh -oh. circus uh -oh. in all of Baldur's uh -oh. Gate. Does anyone know why? Why? You're special, my friend, because I have a message just for you. Praise the absolute. Again? <laughs> Absolute. Here comes the punchline. Oof. Failed perception. Okay, wow. Rude. I wanted to see the rest of the show. <laughs> okay. Whatever. At least we didn't put Shadowheart in danger. Um, no. Thank you. Uh, yeah, super part of the show, haha. 
Goodness. Okay, what do I want to do here? Get more things. Hold monster, hold person. That's nice he has both of those. Let's cast hold person on dribbles, right? Must be a humanoid? You're not a humanoid? What does that mean? You're a monstrosity? Oh, you're gonna be a hold monster angle. Oh, you're a monster. Oh, that makes me feel so much better. And he rolled the trick. Oh my gosh. Okay, yeah, that makes me feel super safe. Mm-hmm. Bitey buddy. Oh, this is new. Fiendish resilience. Choose a damage type and become resistant to it. Is this from my brain powers? What is this? Pick a new damage type, each short rest. Is this from leveling, maybe? That's cool. Uh, what type of damage do they do? I don't really know. Bite, bitiness. Let's, uh, I have no idea what kind of magic they're doing so far, so... Do slashing, piercing maybe? Maybe slashing. All right, take care of our bitey buddy friend here. Underdog's bravery. Ooh, executioner. Um, let's... Okay, 65. We don't have more superiority back? Oh, no, we do. Nice. to have her use action surge whenever I can like this. She can often knock him out. Yeah. Ooh. There we go. And then, oh, she can't quite make it all the way up there. But we can do, what, like a disarming? Yeah, let's do disarming. With a die. Come on. Okay, well, we hit him at least. He did not drop his weapon, but something. I always knew I'd die at a circus. Oh. I always knew I'd die at a circus. What? That's someone who's very afraid of clowns. Oh no. Huh. Call upon your deity in your moment of greatest need. Once they interfere, your deity will never do so again in this manner. Ever? You can only use this feature once in their adventure. A one-time thing. Oh, that's cool. That's a Shar thing. I... We need to go respect her. We'll have her do that soon. Okay, Moonbeam though is great. We're gonna have her use this. We can just move that around. That would be lovely. No! Okay. Um. Technically. Yeah, that takes an action. So I don't want to do that. I do want to move away, though. He's like right up in my business. Uh, yeah, like it's just not great for me to be here. I could though, hang on. What if I came like right here and just, how much health does he have? This could knock him out. I don't know if this is worth using right now, but I'm doing it. Oh, we him for 19. Eh, it's been better. Okay, we're gonna Misty step away. That's what we'll do. Perfect. What is this? Yeah, now we have like a new fly ability now for wherever. Now we can just fly around. That's new and weird. That's weird. Oh, and what is this? Psionic overload. Oh, good. Oh, we have so many abilities now. Okay, anyways. And turn. Fly. Okay, Carla. Oh, no. 
That wasn't even Carlac. Who's that? Real clown in front of an audience. Oh, and that wasn't even the real clown. Oh, good. Something's on my mind. You fight good. Doppelganger, not so good. <laughs> Open up. Clown hammer? This hammer has a colorful history. It doesn't honk when you squeeze it. Alas. Whenever this weapon lands a critical hit, both target and attacker have to succeed a wisdom saving throw or be affected by fits of laughter. Oh. Why? why? Word from the tribunal. Fum, we see it in you. The thirst. The art. The passion. The trail of cold, bloody murder you have left in your track needs only the finishing touches to grant you a place among his favorites. But he requires something truly magnificent. A circus has appeared, boasting a collection of misfits and ragtags. But more importantly, a stage. Now comes the performance of your lifetime, and when the curtain falls, the tribunal will be watching. Well, they watched him fail, so, bummer. So, that was weird. Talk to these people, I guess? Uh. Oh, how could Madame Lucretius let this happen? And what are you doing here? Out! Okay. Rude. <laughs> Is that it? Oh, no, you're still going. Okay, I'm not Please. gonna wait. Uh, uh, enjoy the circus. Which will never be the same without Dribbles. So is Dribbles just gone? Is Dribbles no more? Am I wrong? R.I.P. fake Dribbles, right? I'm like, where's the real one? Does he exist? I don't know. Master of Love? Violence erupts here. My home. My refuge in this city of stone and steel. Your eyes, Dira. There is pain, endless and deep. It's an outfit. But also devotion, blazing like the sun. You're in love, are you not? Oh my. Yes. My love, Shadowheart. You are wise to admit it. When it comes to love, vulnerability is armor. Truth, a sword. And trust, a shield. I pray you wield all three, Stira. Bring the one you love to me. I will look into your hearts and see if your love is eternal oh. or doomed eternally. Oh, really? <laughs> Carlac. I could just imagine Shadowheart. <gasps> mm. Oh, that. Sh oh, talking about dribbles. Oh, the clown severed arm I saw. Oh. Oh. Oh, they took out dribbles to do that whole thing, didn't they? Oh no, R.I.P. <laughs> well, let's see if this goes any better. Shadowheart? It can't hurt, I suppose. Unless you embarrass me. <laughs> then you might find yourself hurting in a whole manner of ways. Oh, oh my. <laughs> Close your eyes, little ones. Be still as stone to earth. And remember to breathe. What's she gonna do? Hmm? Oh. Oh, this is like a thing. I see you. I see the bond between you. So tender, so fragile, but do you see it for yourselves? Shadowheart, an endless storm surges behind sharp eyes. Listen, think, from where does Shadowheart 
Draw comfort on a cold, dark night. Oh. Judging them. She does like wine. Well put. Wait, where so is she supposed to be? Wine, so long as the company makes up the difference. Is this her? Is this supposed to be Shadowheart? You're joking. No. Hear how your no. bond thrums with pleasure. Strong, vital, pulsing with affection. The heart craves comfort, but needs respect. How does one earn the dark-haired maiden's respect? Okay, we're gonna we're gonna quick save. Okay, sinking cloud save. Okay, make sure it fully goes. We're gonna try to reload and see if it fixes this, but I'm not sure if it will. We're gonna find out. Oh yeah, referred to her as dark haired. That's true. She's not anymore. Hmm. The heart craves comfort, but needs <laughs> respect. How does one earn there she is. Okay, the dark haired good. maiden's respect? Okay. Uh shrewd judgment? I'm assuming? Definitely that one, right? Yeah, no. <laughs> Not completely off the mark, but there's easier paths into my good graces. Oh. Okay. Fair enough. There is hollowness between you, something brittle and strained. We must dig Ooh. deeper, grasp the pain hiding within. Our clown Shame makeup is too sits in the soul of all. To tame it, we must name it. Shadow Heart, what is her deepest shame? Oh my. She can't swim her hair. <laughs> Do I call her out? This means like me, like. I guess we call her out. I didn't think a little game would sting so much when I agreed to this. Ah! But you're right. Like, ouch. She's like, I mean, yeah, fair. <laughs> you didn't do abysmally, I suppose. That's worth something. <laughs> the cloud your bond is false and what I know what why. because your heart belongs to another excuse Close me your eyes excuse me and she will show her what to you. So, oh, you're the lick special oh. who crushed the bone. Oh, 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 no. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, have you come b b begging, sniffing for our stones? Gortash won't like that. A throat um, his black hand can't uh, um, choke the spit from. Excuse? Oh, your bond will not save you. He will wrap its cord around your neck and make you swing from it. When you find the Lordling, tell him Oren is watching. Uh, uh, so Oren is a shapeshifter. Yeah, I knew it. Watching? I knew it. It wasn't the person who I suspected. Okay. Interesting. Was she not here in your playthrough for you guys? No? I wonder what I did or something. Huh. Was that just like a normal interaction for you guys? Weird. 
That is not what I was expecting. That got dark like quickly. Shadowheart, you have anything to say about that? Orin's little display was just intended to rattle Yeah, us. like what? We mustn't let her succeed. But need to stay alert all the same. Showed up elsewhere. Trippy. Okay, that's 100% not what I was expecting. Um, Shar followers might be watching for us. Think we can use them to track down your parents? I hope so. So long as I'm willing to stroll right into the Mother Superior's trap, they have no reason to not tell me where to go. Huh. What should we be looking for? Worms Crossing is a choke point. If I wanted to intercept a new arrival, I'd find somewhere before the bridge, blend in amongst the crowds, and wait. Most people seeking entry to the city will be refugees. I'd look wherever they're gathering. Okay. It'd be no different. If you're looking to enter the city, hope your pockets are loaded. Bastards are charging a fortune. That's nice. My Havana shows like Bewitched and Hocus Pocus. Yes. I haven't seen all of them out there. I still need to watch Charmed, actually. But yeah, Hocus Pocus, a classic. Sabrina, the Teenage Witch, you know, the whole thing. Smithy, let's go on in here. Hi. Welcome to the Rivington General. And browse carefully. The weapons. Hi. Hello. Or want a blade? Or a bow? Or a dagger? Wow, someone nice in this city. Or maybe a spear is more your thing? You look like you know how to use a spear. By spear. What'd you say? Huh? <laughs> Don't doubt the excitement. God, wizard things? Uh, to know about wands? Uh, but everything Master Gildra forges is magic. He's a master craftsman. See for yourself. Want more? Want less? <laughs> okay. Very, very hyped. Time to rest. Give them a piece of your mind. Pieces of your body. Huh. That's a bloody cave. Bloody footprints or something. Um. Okay. We gotta check this out. I don't know if this is like the best idea, but I'm doing it. Maybe there will be another owl bear. Apparently, we just missed the chance for our owl bear friend. I'm really sad. Be patient, we failed the roll. Oh, Tell them. who are you? I you were talking. I wanted to talk. <laughs> Who are you? Monstrosity, a doppelganger. Oh. So that's not actually even what they are. Oh. Oh. What did... Who are these people? I'm assuming this is part of like a quest or something. I have stumbled upon something that I did not intend to find already. Oh my. Oh my. Yeah, maybe I shouldn't have followed the trail of blood. This was a terrible idea. It's okay, though. It's fine. We got this. I think. Hopefully. Okay. Nice. Okay, well, they're dead. Huh. Nothing important is ever easy. I might want to turn around and get out of here as soon as I figure out what this place is and who these people are. Breathe deep and move. 36 HP. Oh, that's melee. Okay, um, let's just do... I don't want to do anything too crazy. The Force Tunnel Psionic Overload. Did I take Force Tunnel? I didn't realize I took that. Apparently I did. The psionic overload? I don't remember taking that. I guess it took them for me. Hmm. Hmm. Valid target. Anyways. Ignis. 
27. Not bad. No holding back. Well, hopefully you can hit him with a spell. Yeah, this game makes your brain hurt sometimes. Fetal Literally. Oh, we missed. That's fine, though. Those shouldn't be curious. Yeah. Curious. Huh. Flowery key. This key, spattered with blood, is inscribed with the address of Frago's Flop House in Worms Crossing. Okay, whenever we come across Frago's Flop House, we gotta remember we have a key. Aspirant Delore is talented, if a touch careless. The dagger he discarded lurks within these caves somewhere, though I do not know where. I can smell it. The fear musk from his gills stand in the air after the act because he lets them marinate first. They l stand, lie, sit, stock still as the poison fills their limbs with lead, knowing only two perfect facts. They are going to die, and there is nothing they can do about it. That's normal. These mm -hmm. boots have seen everything. Who are these people? The corpse has nothing to say. Did we do anything with that key that we bought from Mole? Oh, yeah, from the kids. That's a great question. I don't think we... Well, we went underneath the last light in and stuff. I think we ended up using it down there. I don't really remember. I think it... these corpses. What for? Should I take the torso? <laughs> it's like a quest item. Should I give it to Carlac? Here, Carlac, you can take the torso. torso. God, it's uh, awful. Oh, good. She even has dialogue about it, so. Yay! Illicera the First. A note found on the corpse of a woman underneath the Open Hand Temple. Huh. This is definitely not how we were supposed to get in here. I think that's very interesting. It was a way to get in here, though. That is the beauty of this game, is, like, you can just change so much just depending on the order that you do things. You don't, you don't even know, like, what the consequences of that will be, right? The effigy of Ilicera, who watched and waited. What use her eyes? She thought herself a huntress, but couldn't fathom her wool. Orin the Red. Hmm, Orin was here. We found a cruel and deliberately staged murder scene in Baldur's Gate. Could be the work of Orin. Any of them have anything to say? The corpse has nothing to say. Nothing. Oh, this is new. Okay, we have two letters. One from Bolo and one from Arabella. Did Bolo leave? To whomever happens upon this note first. Regretfully, a matter of critical import requiring my immediate attention has arisen. Not that your various misadventures are unimportant per se, but, well, regardless, the matter is far too sensitive to be committed to parchment here, so I shall regale you of it when we meet again in Baldur's Gate. Alright, well, we'll see Bolo later. Something came up for him, apparently. Hmm. The ink is still fresh, and the letter is drawn in a careful hand. Hey you, so I owe you a lot. For one, I don't know what the inside of a snake's belly looks like. For another, you let me stay at your camp. And for another another, you found out what happened to mom and pops. I'm on my own now, and Bone Man says it's a good thing. I just have to let the weave guide me. And as far as I can tell, it's tugging me to Baldur's Gate, so I'm headed there first. Anyway, thanks for everything. I won't forget it. Arabella. Hmm. Okay, yeah, we'll, we may yet see her again. Kind of a fun looking camp. I like it. Starion's gonna come with us. Oop, oh. Wait, is this the kid in our camp? Um, hi. It's me, Yenna. You remember me, right? You were really nice to me before, and, um,. My mom hasn't come back yet. She might come later. I don't think she's coming. Could we maybe stay here? Uh, 
Have a good night, Lose Hunter. Thanks so much for joining. Have a great evening. Thanks for hanging out. Extended welcome. Um. Okay, so this was the kid that I was immediately suspicious of, and they've already established that Orin can shapeshift. I'm immediately suspicious of anyone. Especially just, oh, the poor innocent kid that just needs some help. Like, that's very convenient. You know, like, it might just be a poor innocent kid that needs some help. It might be. It might be. Are the two eyes slightly different colors? Hmm. You should kill the kid. No. No. I'm not going to turn him away, though. Even if they do turn out to be bad, like, I... Right? A cat, though. That's true. She does have a cat. She stays for the cat. All right. All right. The cat can stay. I guess you can, too. Yes! You've got a fire and everything. I can cook really good. Whatever you want. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, suspicious, but... Okay. Oh, I'm... Having... I'm dropping some frames here. I need a quick hey, Scratch. Word dog is unable to speak through the small bag he holds in his mouth. I don't know. Ah. Well, maybe you can tell me. All I know is I thought of you when I saw it. Oh! Sorry about what happened to your master. Master? Friend. I stayed with him until... Oh. Until I knew he was gone. I'll never forget him. But I'm glad to have met you. Oh. Pets. <laughs> you get this creepy clown makeup up soon. <laughs> oh, give me a torch. How nice. Um, I also may want to consider taking Gale with us right now. So let me leave behind both what? Will and Carlac? Maybe we take Estarian and Gale? Switch it up totally? Halsen got anything to say? When I first met you, saving yourself from seromorphosis was your greatest wish. Oh. And yet now, you've stepped closer to embracing yeah, he has a point. I trust your leadership and respect your decisions. But I truly hope this is not something we come to regret. Yeah, he has a point. Heard from Daniel? I have. He speaks to me during my nightly meditations. He is well. And Oliver also. At times they are one, and at others they divide. Easier for playing, perhaps. Hmm. And the land thrives also. I doubt you would recognize it. Perhaps one day, you and I can both return and see it for ourselves. Perhaps. Okay, so we'll take Gale. Did they have anything new Come to say? Come to bask in the glow of the okay. maiden sword. <laughs> no, she doesn't have anything new. Isabel, have anything? Keeping very well, I hope. What are you doing now that he's I gone? Look after my angel. Yep, your angel, of course. True. She's a hundred years in the Shadowfell. A hundred years being murdered by Sharans yeah. over and over. It fills me with a rage I can hardly contain. I mean, that's fair. She's a formidable woman, my Aelin. But no one could escape such horrors unscathed. She's in my hands now. And I intend to help her through whatever's to come. We'll both of us stand by you when the time comes to put down the horror that threatens this city. We are your allies for life. That's nice. Okay, I gotta stay on track. Withers is up there. We'll talk to him later. Oh, is this our Shadowheart statue? Shadowheart the Passion. <laughs> What is the- Why is it so creepy looking? That's not what Shadowheart looks like! What is this? I don't think- What is this? Well, that's not what she looks like. It, like- oh. She had her helmet on, I had it hidden. Oh, that's terrible. Oh my gosh. 
I don't think I can show it onto it. That's so funny. <laughs> oh no, it's all. <laughs> oh my god. I thought it was gonna be a nice pretty statue of Shadow Lord. <laughs> what is this? Oh no. Oh, that's too good. Okay, okay. Um, oh my. Anyways, I. <laughs> oh, no, no. Is that. What do I keep hearing? Okay, we'll stay here for now. I have battled great evils, been mocked by villains of all sorts. But Orin, she is beyond even Thorm. Her mind is twisted beyond recognition. What is she capable of? And where will she strike next? Yeah, nearing the city. Yeah, we'll make sure that we bring him back, but I'm going to swap out our companions for the moment. Cyclone, thank you so much for the kind words and welcome on in. Appreciate it. Cat meow or something, right? Like, I'm like, what is meowing? I, I guess the cat's meowing now. Hmm. Baldur's Gate is where I first raised a glass in toast at the tender age of 14 and got so tipsy from wine, I puked in Dillard Porter's bushes. Oh. It's where the flaming fist chased me after I'd stolen a peach from a cart in the wide. I got a good chewing out over it too. It's where my father taught me to hold a rapier, to read books of law, to know right from wrong. It sounds... It's been seven years since I left. It's no paradise, but it's home. Like, it sounds and somewhat like a cat saving. meow. It also sounds like... And you? The city's yours too, after all. How's it feel to be back? It sounds like, you know, like the peacock scream. Like, when they do that, like, scream that sounds like someone's, like, yelling or dying. That's what that sounds like, right? <laughs> um... Good to be here. <laughs> Wonderful, isn't it? Toril's history is written within our city's walls. Expeditions to the continent of Mastika gather in the harbor. With the Church of Gon displays its most priceless treasures in the High House of Wonders. Voices raised in song on returning day. The heady wines at the Elf Song. There's truly no place like Baldur's Gate. There's no place like home. There's no place like home. That's Will. Oh, wait, Will. No, actually. Well, sorry. Can are you, you sure? Here? The blade and... I know. I'm sorry, Will. I'll bring you in a moment. But like everyone else also has business. I'm sorry. Garlic with her clown makeup. I do I really leave her here? Fucking shapeshifter. Thank you she'll try to break our best asset, our trust. Fortunately, she's no match for our second best asset, me. Yeah, try to break our trust. Um. Yeah, I should take Gale with us for a little bit. We haven't really like taken him at all, so I'm gonna take him. Really? I know, I'm sorry. I'm oh. gonna bring you back very soon, Carlag. You're a fun companion to have. Starion? It's not enough. We have a gallery of villains to look out for, but now we could be infiltrated by a shape changer. Uh-huh. I can't even tell if any of you are acting strange because you've been replaced, or because this group is full of weirdos. He is a boy. <laughs> Darling, I thought you'd never ask. Lead on. Hide the helmet, and we'll need to level him up a bit. So, Gale, we haven't even ever Orin really taken. with us where she could destroy us. Whatever her motivations, I hope she reveals them quickly. Ten, thank you. It's Ten Amusha. Thank you so much for your Prime sub as well. Thank you. Welcome on into our witchy layer, and thank you very much for using the Amazon Prime sub here on the stream. And just, I hope you enjoy hanging out here with us and the content and all. Welcome. This game, incredible, amazing. We had the beginnings of something before, I think. We didn't act, now it's too late, unfortunately. Let's see what happens if we say this. Is this gonna make Shadowheart mad? I don't think it will. Worry not. I carry my regrets wherever I go and I'm used to their weight. Oh, Gail. One more will not break There could have been something there. I know, I'm sorry. In another life. <laughs> go ahead. I'm okay, with. Yeah, we have not taken him at all since the beginning. Trust no one. So let's level Starion first. This should be quick. Another step forward.
good. All right, we're leaving camp, right? Did I get everyone that I wanted? Leave camp. Ah. They both have things to say here. All right, Astarian, what you got? Baldur's Gate is right over the hills. And so is Cazador. Yeah. And we are no closer to knowing why that bastard is so obsessed with getting me back. Any more leads? I think we should track down my fellow spawn. I'm not exactly looking forward to a reunion, but perhaps they'll know something. If we can find them, we can force them to tell us what he's been doing since I was gone. And honestly, I imagine they'll be coming for me in the night if I don't. Okay, where would they be? If Casador's changed their orders, they'll be in the dens of this town. Seeking I wonder if we'll find any like we in this area. First. Then we can make their pretty tongues talk. There are some yeah, no transmog without mods. I mean it's pretty cool stuff already. I think you can find a lot of different things and a lot of different outfits and stuff, but yeah. Did I find the statue? What in my camp? Mm-hmm. <laughs> she had a helmet on, it was not good. <laughs> Can't wait until next Sunday. Oh, getting out on PS5. Enjoy. Sounds like it's going to be a blast. I was supposed to sacrifice myself to stop the absolute. Yeah, I don't think I could have gone through with it in truth. But I'm glad that I didn't, given what has come to light. We already had this discussion with him. The Elder Brain. We already Netherese. had this discussion. Most yes. Netherese artifacts contain a the crown was different. Yes. Okay. Survived. So why was the crown important? Crown I asked him this. Sits on a gargantuan elder brain Understanding its true nature. I mean, that's fair. More about what we Learn more, and he wants to go we'll shopping. Find ourselves Excellent idea. Ha! We already had this Sorcerous. conversation. Don't know why it's You'll making me do it again. My... That's fine. Anyways, what were we doing here? Miracles of the Outer City. Customer of... Jildro and Jalarion rec reckons he healed up mighty quick from painful forge burn. Asked if Ilmatter had something to do with the irksome talkative gent outside of Carmen's powerful agent of suffering. Soup still showing up at refugee camp, even after temple closed kitchen. Huh. Men's hands tied together in horse reins claims he's a holy symbol. Manup Nestor reports feeling he's close to his duty since relocation to refugee camp. What a day. Simple. You beat the game today? Congrats. I'm excited to see how it's going to end. I have a lot on my mind. Oh, okay. And, well, in it. Yeah, a lot in our minds, too. Hmm. Holy water. The would be saint. The book tells the story of a patriarch woman who gave up her fortune to become a cleric of Ilmater in service to in the outer city and now seeks to be canonized after her death. Huh. A series of behavioral lessons as derived from a devotee's interpretation of the ascendancy of the god of suffering, life, and endurance, Ilmater. Oh, how nice. On my way. Here goes nothing. Hand drum. All kinds of music. We're not a bard. Hmm. Ode to the oppressed. I wonder if we could learn a bard song here. I bet we could. Um, okay. Here lies Flintster Sunseeker. Born 1400 DR. Died 1456 DR. Here lies Sister Shira Clarwen, date of birth unknown. Oh, died 1491. Help the cursed DR. monk. The amulet spirit's granddaughter. She's already gone. Oh. We learned that Shira Clarwen passed away. She's buried in a crypt under the temple. Faithful to the crying god, long didst I wait, only to find thine empty flesh. Oh. Can we... Oh, 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 oh. Honored Shira. Her spirit has fled, and her body but merely a husk. 
Swear I did to shed this foul mania and bestow it upon Shira. She was to endure, to suffer, as was her god Ilmata's want. Who oh. now shall bear the madness Shah has wrought on me uh -oh. so I might no longer suffer? Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Shall it be thou? Oh, this takes a long time to finish. Yes. No, we're at like hour 50 and we're like act three. <laughs> and there's amazing replayability. Okay, yeah, what are the consequences of accepting this? Would love to know. Mm hmm. The monk himself holds your answer. Tasha's hideous laughter is a powerful skill, but earning it may come at the cost of wisdom. Isn't that a level one spell? I do not want to inherit your curse. Uh, I mean, it might give it to me as like a cantrip or something. No. We'll bring you peace. No, I'm not doing that. Starring, you want to do that? Right. Uh, no? I say no. I don't want that. <laughs> well, if laugh I must, let our alliance end on a laugh. Are we gonna fight? Yeah. Uh oh. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Okay. And I'm surprised. Oh, giddy. Oh, giddy. I know, I maybe should have taken more powers. I know. Oh, you can very much choose your followers. Oh, very much. And you can choose your relationship with them, and it's a whole thing. The best choice-based choice game I think there ever has been so far. And I played Disco Elysium, so, like, just FYI. <laughs> um, roll 25. Uh, don't react, it's fine. Rude. All right, Astarian, let's get him. I also think that I might respect him as thief instead of assassin. Oh. Okay. Well, he made that easy. <laughs> Eternally cursed, then, my spirit be. I. No. Should I have left him eternally cursed? No. No. I don't I let that guy be cursed for eternity. I don't know if that's I hate it had to end like this. In for the day, I think. A torturous fate by any measure. Yeah. I just I don't want to inflict that upon me. <laughs> I don't think that's the way to go. Like, oh no. Oh, I'm sorry, my guy. Here lies Reloric Windbane, born 1399 DR. Died 1486 DR. I'm just assuming that that's what would have happened to me if I had accepted that. So, for the best. Moving ahead. Okay, well, that's not what I was expecting Curse to find to in here. I put my hands on everything. I have something to ask. I've said all I have to say already. Now I just want to pack up my kitchen and leave. Should probably clean up the massive blood trail before you go. I'm not touching <laughs> it. Not with a mop ten yards long. That's Father Logan's blood. Oh. Why? He was attacked in the cellar. He had a private altar down there. He used to like the solitude. <laughs> the man ate like a horse. A soup-hungry horse. Soup. Usually took enough to feed a small clergy down there. Hmm. It's all like steel. I kind of want to steal the soup though. I'm very tempted. Oh, if Larian could do Dragon Age, that would be amazing. Look at this whole cute little courtyard area. Infirmary. Justice endures, even in suffering. Who's in here? Oh, there's Father Lorgan. There he is. What ails you? Marsh fever? Feather lung? Be quick, I've not got all day. You... Um... Delayed elithid ceremony forces. No. Why? I'm not gonna bring that up. 
I'm not gonna do that. Why are you busy? I told Logan we didn't have enough to spare all the refugees. I knew it was a bad idea. Now I've got a dead priest to deal with as well. Don't seem that sad. Yeah, heard. Sorry. I'm sorry too. Sorry we ever let these heretics into our midst. She seems more mad than sad. One of the refugees killed him. Oh. Cruelly too. They cut off his hand, sawed right through the bone. See the clown? I found a <laughs> paralytic poison on one of his wounds. Logan oh, was alive. That's while Orin took then. The hand. He just couldn't scream. Right? It's I don't know. Sick. We found a note about that underneath. Ooh. We give them everything. And all we get is nothing but a good man to bury. I'm sorry, that's rough. Do you have anything on his body? Wait, no, I don't think they're gonna like that. That's marked red. Sorry, it's your job. Careful, I bind. I go wraith. I did it. I stole. Shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting times. Okay, wait. Uncrouch. Thank you. Perfect. Love it. An end to suffering. What Here is that? Go. Let the light of perpetual toleration guide your servant's wretched form to peace. In bloodied mercy, hear my prayer. Swift as my feet can carry me. And... Oh, Valeria. Wait. Wait. Is that... Love to make a believer out of anyone. Ah, Must you be so insensitive? It's so cute. It's like an elephant. Look, investigator. Brilgor might have been a criminal, but he was no murderer. You're missing something. You have to be. Enough, Yanis. Listen to yourself. You are defending a man who ritually slaughtered your high priest. The evidence speaks for itself. Brilgore killed Father Lorgan, then, be it out of shame or profane duty, offed himself with the same blade. Case closed, Sister Yannis. I like the monocle. Very fancy. Shitey little Oh, elephant. speak with the dead was glowing? Oh, I'll go back. Oh, um, I apologize, stranger. Language like that hardly befits a rector of ill mater. I'm quite the disagreement, huh? You could certainly say that. Two people just died on temple grounds. A high priest, Father Logan, and one of the new refugees, Brilgor. Investigator Valeria thinks it's a murder and is content to blame Brilgor, the politically convenient target. What makes it convenient? Brilgor was a refugee. No one sticks up for them at the best of times, and with Gortash in power... With Gortash in power? Well, I expect the Flaming Fists will ban refugee aid now one of them's blamed for murder. Uh, I'll help. Feel free to look around the temple, but fair warning. Yes, okay. Where can I find the investigator? Caress would be my best bet. That's a usual haunt after closing a case. Valeria never found the murder weapon, so that could be murder a Murder weapon. Okay. I really hope you find something. Well, let's go back and talk to him real quick. A holly fence. They're very cute. Okay, I'm gonna quick save. It's been a second. Let's talk to him. Forgot that's what that means. The corpse regards you lifelessly. Whoa, 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 let's see. Who killed you? Dwarf. Dressed in red. Okay. How? A poison blade. Paralysis. Uh-huh. Why? The corpse remains silent. Doesn't know. It does not know. Oh. Where? From the cellar. Yep. Refuge. 
hiding Brilgor from fifth. Oh. The spell's power wins. Hiding Brilgor. No questions. Yeah, one of the doppelganger ass assassins underneath the open hand temple had a strange flowery key. Should find what it opens. Huh. Shadowheart believes Shar and lookouts will be present in the vicinity, waiting for her return. Mazora, gotta keep an eye out. Yeah, gotta keep an eye out for Kazador and friends as well. And we actually successfully lifted the Shadow Curse. That's really nice. I'm happy that we actually could do that, at least. So it looks like it kind of wants us to go back in the tunnels. And, like, find what the flowery key opens. Also, what's the deal with this portrait? Oh, let me take the portrait. I just... There's something on the other side of this wall. Let's just open up this door. Oh, and it lets us go up. Let's see what's up here. Burnished necklace. Yeah, it does look like we can go to the ledge here. Interesting. Okay, Dio. You can't be messing with my mouse while I'm trying to play games. Thank you. Okay. Connor looks familiar. Does this cat belong to Gail? Oh, is this Gail's cat? Oh! That's fun! Mr. Dakarios, heavens! Fancy seeing you here. Tara! That can't be you, can it? I suppose you won't be terribly shocked to find your old friend Tara amongst the pigeons. They've always been a personal favorite. Huh. My, is that a ring? For us? Oh, you shouldn't have. Enjoy yourself now, Tara. Looks like you've got yourself set up quite nicely here. Hmm. Cute. Yeah, what's, uh, what's she doing here? Oh, She oh. isn't my Trezim. Oh, I'm sorry. She's my friend. And from the looks of things, it appears she's eating pigeons. <laughs> Cute. I don't want her to stop eating pigeons, but that's the only dialogue I have. I don't want her to stop. You eat all the pigeons you want, I guess. I don't know. Poor pigeons, though. <laughs> um, I don't know. Stop eating pigeons? Oh, right. Did you hear that? Hysterian disapproved. Um, stop it. Stop well, it. Well, these must be important birds indeed, Mr. Dakarius. <laughs> Forgive me for feasting on their bodies and bones so very voraciously. Oh, she's agreed. Just about. I don't know why I had to make her agree to that. Ring of Blink. Sure, you can have that. There you go, Gail. Oh, let's just pick that up too. Should I have Gail read them or something? Might be important to him. Concerned citizen tries to clarify his econo uh, economic situation so that they are taxed accordingly. It's a nightmare of epic proportion that would make an accountant cry. Oh. A lengthy letter from a Baldurian patriarch to an unknown correspondent. It describes in no uncertain terms how both parties could profit from a war. For the special and direct attention of Roa Moonglo only. Look, far be it from me to question Zent directives, but you can't just take every... Take from every arrival without consulting me first. That iron flask you skimmed from in the last si shipment was exceptionally valuable, and we've lost the Vanthan furs as clients for good now. If you just give me a warning first, I can smooth this sort of thing over. Danzo, be careful with that iron flask. There was something weird about it. Felt like it was watching me. Weird. 
Oh. oh, weird is right. There's also blood over here. I've got a long road ahead. Seems simple enough. For the special and direct attention of Roa Moonglow only. Look, Roa, you city zent have always been consummate professionals to me, so I don't understand why Joaquin's rest cell is so useless. Buddy. Okay, this cat. Drive me crazy. I was supposed to re receive several items from them a few days ago, but I've heard absolutely nothing. Could you put out some feelers? Zaris doesn't answer my correspondence anymore. Danzo. Hmm. Oh, it's the blood from the pigeons. I love it. That's amazing. Let's go across the street here, see what's going on. So we already know that we went down the well, which is kind of interesting. Right? Meandering around a bit. Yeah, it seems like a lot of the quests are kind of... Right, overlap. I'm gonna send you around a bit. We have the Duke's full support. What is that? For the good of the Are you a kindly bird breeder with a love of letters? Or perhaps you live near a park of evil. What? Why is the I don't like how our illithid friend starts to talk to us like that now. I prefer the nice elf lady voice. Double price for any halfable pigeons you can find. Okay, well, we did ask the cat to stop eating the pigeons, so maybe that's part of that sort of thing. Our protector, Lord Gortash. Gortash coronation poster. Can I just read that one? I don't need to pick it up. To be elevated to Archduke. Oh, great. A grand ceremony. Oh, lovely. Archduke. Oh. This poster names Gortash the city savior, a devoted patriot of Baldur's Gate, and a friend to the fearful and downtrodden. Oh yeah, so he's just gonna go be the hero that saves everyone then, huh? This is front page material. Lens the journalist. Aren't you... I knew there was a story here, and there you are, the hero of the hour, walking right up to me. The name's Lens, reporter with the Baldur's Mouth Gazette. Care to do a quick interview? An interview? Okay. Uh... A, an interview about what? You, of course. Okay. News travels fast in this city. And after your exploits, you're quite the celebrity. Oh. This interview will be our biggest issue yet. Oh, yeah, she knows who we are. Okay, I mean, that's fair. two moments of your time. If you play your cards right, this could make the cover. I just need some extra details. Oh, so, so I have to, to try to make the cover. At Gate. What's brought you here at a time like this? <laughs> Normal reason. Um, come to find a way to save myself. You came seeking safety in a city under siege. The threat must be dire indeed. We got, we got to captivate from readers, hear, right? You've little to fear from the absolute. My sources tell me you recently vanquished the fearsome General Ketherick Thorne. How did you manage that? Maybe it's not a good idea to tell journalists that, but I did, so whatever. Um, they don't know what I'm sick from. They don't know. Yeah, Thorne, yeah, how do you know about that? I don't know. Everyone knows about that, I guess. I offered him a chance of redemption. Yes, he refused to take it. Left me no choice. So you were forced to kill him. What a tragic story. Tragedy, Unfortunately, yes. Unfortunately, absolutists rarely seem interested in compromise. The cult's threat is far from extinguished. What's your plan of attack? Hmm. Yeah, I don't know if I want to give a strategy to the front pages. Perhaps it could inspire some like-minded citizens oh. to help your cause. You must have some strategy in mind. I'm suddenly very suspicious of this lady. Yeah, no, I'm suddenly extremely suspicious of this lady. Um. Oh, maybe I shouldn't have told it. 
Huh. Huh. Um. Hmm. I'm not going to mention the taking out its leaders. That's a little bit too specific. More of an improviser. You think chaos courses through your veins? You have no idea. Yeah, no, this is, uh... Yeah, oh gosh. Yeah, there she is. There she is. Ooh! Still rolling in the muck, I see. You think I can't sniff the secrets hidden in your pretty skull? What you seek? What you oh. need? Gortash knows you are coming, knows you have the Bone Lord Stone. Do not let him hiss hot air into your worm-weakened brain. She... Remember, Does she not trust him? His throat spits lies, but my blade carves the truth. You will read it on your skin soon She's enough. Intense. Ah! She's toying with me. What does she want? She is toying with us. The Duke, Raven God. Oh, she started to look so creepy before she gave herself away fully. Uh, um. Orin, I. Orin's creepy. I. I don't know what kind of choices we're gonna have to make coming up here, but I don't trust her. But I would trust her more than I would probably trust the other guy, so there's that. But that doesn't really mean much. Something good. Here, I wouldn't I trust that guy at all. The pigeons in service of the communicators of the city deserve far more renown than that which is afforded to them. Take Beaky, for example. A pigeon, age 10. A great, great, great grandfather and a noble upholder of his tremendous duties. Oh no, and the cat was just eating them. <laughs> okay, maybe it's a good thing I told the cat to stop eating them. <laughs> Orange of beak and charcoal of wing, where is the Baldurian who has not glimpsed the flash of his wing darting hither and fro across our fair city? Beaky has carried Duke's writs, marriage announcements, emergency notices, and more with nary a complaint from his cooing beak. Who among us can claim a more stalwart dedication to so important a profession? R.I.P. <laughs> Bullworth, no fleas, lots of nodding though. What is this? Courier hounds. Scratch, still gone. Miss you, boy. Oh. Did someone here know about Scratch? Should I summon Scratch? I can't talk to him here, but he can at least be involved. What's in, what's in this room before I go upstairs? Oh. Oh, that's like a merchant or something. Hang on. I want to go... I want to go sneak upstairs first. I didn't realize I was, like, sneaking in. Hiding failed. Ah. That's a friendly looking shack. It's... Oh, hello. There's someone up here. Okay. And the pigeons! I need a quick one. Hmm. A little wet under the wing for our unit. The commander will soon straighten you out. <laughs> Sorry, no more sneaking. Stop sneaking. Stop it. <laughs> He's like, stop that. Hello. Pigeons are very sensitive. They can't fly straight if they're disturbed. Is someone still sneaking? Stop sneaking. Okay, I think we're okay. <laughs> Name and rank! Quickly now! There's a war on! War pigeons! Uh, Lieutenant Rage, reporting for duty. <laughs> at ease! At ease! I am Commander Lightfeather! Leader of the finest aerial communication regiment this side of the Chionfa. State your purpose, brown walker. I don't have all day. <laughs> yeah, Gail's cat, uh... Uh-oh. 
Um, yeah, I found some letters scurried by some of your birds that got super eaten. I suspected as much. Bloody shame. <laughs> but that's the nature of war. <laughs> Make your report. How did the battle unfold? Uh. Okay. <laughs> Moon shadow. Speaking of cat, the cat's going crazy on the scratching post back there. Fought to the last feather against a truly formidable foe. Of course they did. No doubt it was my training gave them the discipline and resolve to stay in the fight. <laughs> <laughs> Your reconnaissance is appreciated. This information will be vital in deciding our new strategy. Dismissed! <laughs> I have One more? To ask. I've no need of a wing man. Commander Lightfeather will give you your briefing. <laughs> I love it. Okay. To the Honorable Lord Haverford Gist, your reputation as a charitable nobleman is renowned far beyond the walls of Baldur's Gate. Those walls that would preserve my family from the rage of the absolute cult. Could we but gain admittance? However, the flaming fists at the south span of Worms Crossing are adamant in their refusal to let us in. I beg you to please use your influence to send a message to them, allowing our passage. We would owe you our undying gratitude, and if you were in need of an experienced scribe, I would be willing to work for only the most nominal wages. Scribe Gallagher Brim, in Rivington. What kind of gossip can we find here? Oh, I love the, the animal talks, they're the best. Greetings, I'm an experienced forge assistant, currently stuck in Rivington, but I expect to get to the city soon. When I do, I hope you'll grant me an interview at your famous foundry because I'm going to need work and I'm really very good at hammering and, you know, tonging. Anyway, don't forget me, I'll be coming around shortly so you can see if you want to hire me. Henry Tongs Buckster. Tonging, yes. Refusal of admittance. The Flaming Fist Company regrets to inform you that your request to enter Baldur's Gate has been denied. This is due to evasive answers to routine questions, suspected cult affiliation, lack of visible means of support. Denied petitioners may reapply after a 10 day, but too frequent reapplication is considered harassment and subject to penalty. Who does that even go to? It's just a form? I don't know. The form is mine now. Hmm. No more refusing. Only admitting. Dear Lily, Dadders and I can't believe our luck in getting you admitted to Provost as a boarding student just before this refugee crisis sealed the city gates. It costs two arms and a leg, but if it keeps you inside the gates walls until the danger is past, it's worth whatever we had to pay. Now, don't worry about your parents. We're safe enough in Rivington as long as the Steel Watch is here to protect us. And whatever happens, whatever you hear, don't take it to your head to leave the city. Knowing that you're safe at the Academy is what keeps us going every day. And we'll get through this. You know we will. Helm bless you and keep you, Lily. Mummers. Hmm. Okay. Hopefully those letters get delivered. I don't have to deliver them, right? Let the pigeons do their job. Let's see what this does. And let's see what's going on in here. Hello. Ah, welcome to Sword Coast Couriers. To send and to serve. Delivery not guaranteed. Oh. Not guaranteed? Well, we've had to change the policy. Hard to send letters by road when there's a rampage and army of fanatics bearing down on you. I'll tell you, it's left me in a right pickle. I've sent what I can by pigeon, but now something's attacking them and all. Become a postmaster, Danzo. It'll be easy. Nobody mentions having to spend your evenings hunting for pigeon carcasses, do they? You sense there's more to his anxiety than a few missing letters. Oh. Yeah, the iron flask. You... you read it. Technically, that's interfering with someone else's property. I should report you to the nearest manip. Mm-hmm. Tell you what. Give it here, and we'll say no more about it. I'll give you a nice little bonus as well. A, a finder's fee. <laughs> what do you say? Hmm. Hmm. 
I want to be friendly with him, so... Sure. What What is he gonna give me? Much obliged. Much obliged. Here's your fee. Maybe I shouldn't have accepted, but I, I want him to be my friend. I mean, 300 gold. Uh, sure. Something that we already did. I... Heartless bastards. If they just listen. Can we help? Oh, why are we going right Take there to it talk? Somewhere else. My hands are full. No, they don't want to hear me out. Okay. Oh. Oh, I didn't mean to walk this far. Okay. Oh. Oh. Halt! By orders of Lord Gortash, refugees are no longer allowed in the city. Turn around. Of urgent business. Well, do you have the means to support yourself? <sighs> oh, this is Shadowheart. Random. Um. Two hundred, really? Sure. Right. Article thirty point one point five of the Council's decree on extraordinary wartime measures. I am confiscating that. The city thanks you for your contribution. Your name? Daisy Dewdrop Fluffington. <laughs> well met, citizen Fluffington. Your parasite stirs. From the construct, you feel connection, resonance. Not just yet. State your business. Um... Does that work? I don't know. Uh-huh. Eyes open, body still. Why? The Watcher will communicate with our new intelligence directorate. They'll determine if you're a threat to the city. Upstanding citizens have no reason to fear. And you are an upstanding citizen, aren't you? Yeah, I'll come back later. What is this? Please, my son. He's only a boy. You must uh... understand. Sir, sir. Stand ready for examination. No. Uh huh. Eyes open, body still. I literally want to leave. Get me out of here. I heard the stories. Oh my goodness. Well, all you want. I don't know what that means, but I feel like they're not we don't need gonna want us in. The I don't. Ah. Our, our clients. Okay. Before we go over there, I first just wanted to go check out this direction, Outsiders. and then we'll go into the city. We'll probably leave that for tomorrow, though. It seems like it's going to be a whole thing going in there. This initial little outside area is already plenty. What about over here? We shed tears today, so we may shed blood. <laughs> we spread like blood. It's also all my time on stream and stuff too, like while we're playing it. So, so a lot of that's talking. Nothing. I will admit. Just wait for the next wave. I still have the clown makeup on. We should go long rest soon. <laughs> We're just not really like in a combat sort of place, so it's okay. We should, we should long rest. As long as we stand Who are these together, people? We can never be true. You think you can just walk into our camp? Oh, present yourself to Alma or leave. Okay, okay, all right. Alma, Alma's in charge apparently. Who is she? Alma, hello. Burning pyre. Oh, oh dear. Hathran Rust. Frey, Valdisk Durovna. Frey, Valdisk Ablast. You recognize the funeral rites of the Gur people, the same monster hunters you met in the Hexen. Oh. Their leader is burning the possessions of those who have fallen. Im Orak, Nete, Grasim, Netra. So, the impossible spawn walks among us in the blazing sun. We have been looking for you. Oh. If you want to 
throw him on the pyre. I fully support that. <sighs> I can even see Asterian being like, Asterian proofs, right? Like, no. Um, what do you want? The last time your friend came to our camp, he stole our children, our future. When we sent Gandrel after you, we wanted to interrogate you, to discover how to save our children, and then destroy you. That's why I should save. <laughs> but things have changed. Yeah, I don't think you she seems very hostile. Is it true you left your master? That you broke the spell that binds you to him? Uh, well, I, I mean, uh, kind of. It's a long story, honestly. Yes, free now. Free? Not while his master still lives. But he has perhaps earned a second chance. Oh. We have tried to save our children once already, attacking Kazadorzar's palace at first light. Even then, it was too well defended. But if his own spawn approached, oh, someone he thought he could why. control, he would throw his doors open and welcome you in. And once inside, you could do what we could not. You could save the children you damned. Oh. You don't know Cazador like I do. He's merciless. You want me to march into the lion's den and save your children? But I promise you, they're already dead. How can you be sure? I spent two hundred years bringing him victims. Each and every one was whisked away to be fed on that night. But you never saw him feed yourself. True. He could keep prisoners for days before killing them. If our children are truly gone, then we ask for blood. I know you can understand that, Spawn. <laughs> Oh, what do I say? One or two. Um, owe them revenge, or I mean, he kind of does. Are they talking about like literal children that he stole? Like, I. But like, also, it wasn't really his like free will. But even still. I think we gotta call him out. Come on, Astarian. Come on. I suppose. Yeah, come on. Yes. Yes. Revenge. I can do. Thank you. He's like, yeah, I probably want to go murder him anyway, so mother. sure. If you can do this, we will be in your debt. You have lived a life of violence <laughs> and sin. Oh. You have stolen lives, broken families, and caused immeasurable grief. Oh. Doing this will not right those wrongs. <laughs> If you're trying to encourage me, <laughs> you're failing abysmally. But it will be a start. You may still be redeemed. Please go. Time is short, but we will see you again when it is done. Do not stand here and wait. I Cazador must be destroyed. <laughs> Do. On my way. Two seconds went back. Not you. Like. Point two seconds. Oh. Hmm. oh, scratch? Finding something? Oh, That's curious. Fun. Good, good dog. <laughs> what did we get? Animal speaking. You can. Okay, so that lady wants something really interesting from Astarian. I wonder if we're going to be able to save the children? I'm assuming they're going to be vampire spawn. That's my assumption. So we'll see. See if I'm correct. If you're here to fill an empty stomach, look elsewhere. Folks swarmed what lit was odd, stuffing their pockets. Bloody animals. 
No. You guys okay? We got here first, friend. You're welcome to whatever scraps we leave behind. Hmm. Oh, chickens. The poor chickens. I won't let the eggs go to waste at least. Oh no. Lined up and and taking their fair shares. We've had plenty for everyone. If I was a shower and look out, you might see the other place I'd wait around. Oh. And Oh. She thinks there's something Sharon up here? Like what, on this lookout? Huh. Maybe up here? Let me... Let me just go look at some edges of things. I've got like a whole thing over there. Huh. Oh, oh, Scratch is on to something. You go, Scratch. You can from Another one? Or are you finding... We'll something, out of it. something else? No? Okay. Let's check this out down here. We haven't even gotten into the city yet. Crazy. Grunch. Ah, whatever you need. I can't help you. Even talking is painful right now. No cats in sight. Well, unfortunately, that's the thing about cats is they, they do what they want. They were here earlier. My apologies. They'll be back. I have three of them, so they come and go. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> It's a little later than I often stream, so I think they want me to go to sleep. <laughs> okay. Um, uh, let's see. Let me have Shadowheart look at the wound. Some goblin cultists were about to stumble on where those two bright boys were hiding. So I just kind of drew their attention. The bright boys got away, but I took a hit killing those goblins. Hmm. Okay, can Shadowheart maybe do something? Fine. Ah, whatever you need, I can't help you. Even talking is painful, nice. right? After a quick examination, you conclude oh. that your patient is pretending to be wounded. Oh. You wonder why? Really? This isn't necessary. I'm sure there are other people that need your help more urgently. Shh! Not so loud. If those lads find out I'm faking, they might go off on their own. They're not ready for that. <laughs> and frankly, I'd miss them. I don't really have any I think they were friends. already talking about going on their and own. I like those lads. So I think I'll stick around a while more. I'm not sure that's this how way. it works. What to do? Then I guess to get and I don't know how we're going to get Grunch into the city. Wounded as he is. We have to. We've got to get Grunch into the city. But he's in no shape to travel. I wonder. I wonder if I can help them. Yeah. Another step forward. Oh. Oh. Seedlings. Hello. So. You survived. That's more than many of my kin can say. How are you holding up? It's mainly anger that keeps me going. Zevlor was supposed to lead us, but he froze when we needed him most. I wonder if he's going to pop back I, up again. I haven't seen him since the massacre on the road, which is lucky for him. Oh, I can't tell him about that? I'm not going to let me tell him? Oh, Fair enough. We made it alive I wish I had Zevlor in my party. Skate. Dang. Almost, anyway. But I, I, I can't complain. When I look at Bex and realize she's safe, it's hard not to weep from joy. Yay. What a sad situation. The once proud tieflings of Elturel. Reduced to beggars. 
Can I help get them into the city, I wonder? Like... We made it through hell. Twice. I know now that as long as Danis and I stick together, we can do anything. Okay. You made it here all on your own. Gives touch and go. I'm really worried about Umi. I do kind of wish that I'd taken Zevlor in our party, because then he could be here and, like, talk to them and have an interaction or something, I'm assuming. But it looks like since I didn't take him, we can't? I wonder if we're going to see him later. I'm assuming he's just going to pop back up at some, like, re random later time. Washing my pits, washing my pits, this is the song when I... Oi! Oh. Can a blood not get any bleeding privacy around here? <laughs> Bunch of perverts... Is this a shower? Me. Oh, okay. <laughs> what? He's mad. Supplies are short. Oh, what is this? Even if we only have tankers of river water. Thinking of trying to get into this barn? Don't. Uh. Just taking a stroll. Yeah, I bet. Shoo. Huh. Well, something's in the barn. We need to get in there somehow. <laughs> Actually, got here safely. Towing along my wife, sister, and mother. Or maybe they towed me along, eh? <laughs> anyone else around here? Especially anyone else we know? Nazim? Heads will roll for this. This, this transgression. This injustice. Do you get to the Cloud District very often? Is that like a reference? Like, I... <laughs> um, I know the way they treat refugees around here is terrible. I don't give a shit about all that. It's how I've been treated, which is the real travesty. A perfectly respectable <laughs> businessman wants to bring his well business into this fine city, and what do they do? Well. I was going to sell the finest alchemical tinkerings the gate had ever seen, but the bureaucrats had other ideas. Alchemy, huh? They talked some absolute horse bollocks about papers and correct filing Paperwork. procedures and threw me in this slum. I should be loins deep in Charesse's caress by loins. now, not waddling about in filth. Mm hmm. You guys having a good time? Ooh, a dog. Biscotti. Oh, oh, God. How are they going to see it? What happens if they don't see it? Yes. Oh, goodness, yes. I am a good dog. Fantastic stuff. <laughs> oh, yes. You're lovely. You can come back. <laughs> <laughs> I apologize for my husband and his obsession with that bloody dog oh be nicer to the dog what was that my dear nothing darling <laughs> no i'm afraid i must insist you do not pet the hound my love you can't keep being so rude to strangers it's just a dog all the grabbing and touching startles poor biscotti i will not apologize for caring about my boy oh no the dog Quinn, thank you so much for the 500 bits. I, that means a lot. Thank you so much for supporting. Story has been so captivating to watch. Made it fun choices. Thank you. You know, I I won't always make the the normal choices. That's what makes it fun. <laughs> I don't know if there are many normal choices in this game, but sometimes there are. Oh my. Thank you. Did you get this because made it look so fun? I mean, I'm having a blast. Like, I'm genuinely having a blast. And I know that the replayability of this is going to be incredible. And I know that I'm going to have to, like, push myself to make different choices. Like, totally different choices. Like, I'll have to push myself to be, like, totally evil. Just commit. Just be terrible to, like, everyone. And it will make me feel terrible. But then I'll be, like, it will be interesting. I want to know what happens. <laughs> um... Fine looking just, hound. I'm so very glad they let animals in the camp. It means Biscotti can be kept away from that awful war. Oh, yes. As long as the dog is okay, he's happy. Give me strength. If 
I take a guess, I don't think it's about the dog. We're farming, we the city. What are we gonna do in the city? Glad to see you. Glad to see anybody, really. It was a lonely road getting here through those abandoned farmlands and I'm a sociable sort. Who's this lady? That orb seems powerful. What can I... I'm busy. An orb? Mind your own. Huh. Many one of them could be a spy for the absolute. Back off and return to your homes. That's an no, order. Why yeah. you protect us oh, instead of these fluffy outlanders? Petty. Young lady. Please just go home. You're ruining a perfectly uneventful posting with this nonsense. The flaming fists are supposed to protect this good city, but they allow trash and vermin to take our homes and goods. Ah, oh, another visitor, I see. Listen, we keep letting the likes of you in. Soon, there'll be no room left for any of us true Baldarians. Huh. Um... Yeah, it's the most diverse city in all of Faerun. Come on. Another bleeding heart. Piss off and take it elsewhere. No, we didn't make friends. That's fine. I don't think we want to make friends. You and I have someone there. Can Astarian speak to him differently? If I must. Please just. Ah, another visitor. I see. Listen. Okay, let's try a different dialogue option to Astarian. Soon. Excuse me. I was born inside the city walls. Call him out. A Baldarian through Gale and through. <laughs> Wherever you're from, clearly they don't teach manners. I also didn't make friends, but I like Better option. I'm not good day. Seems like a good oh. moment to talk. I just lost a wager, thanks to you. Oh. Who are you? Someone who bet that you'd never be foolish enough to actually show your face in this city again. Oh. Oh, here you are. I was like, why is Shadowheart and talking? The gold in my oh. purse is soon to take flight. Um. Get to the there point. There have been yeah. whispers about you, sister. About your faith, your loyalty, your company. Oh. I can't help but feel the strangest twinge of disgust oh. as I look upon you. Is it true? Has our lady forsaken you? Need contrition for now? want to urge her to lie like I do want her but to lie but I also kind of want to see just how she handles it like I think that that was the plan in the first place but that also seems kind of important we don't want to turn all of them against us immediately we want to try to get in there huh let's see how this goes of course not a cover to throw our enemies off the scent I suppose you weren't deemed important enough to be informed of the plan. That would have been fine deception in most cases. But your lying tongue cannot mask the empty pit in your oh. spirit. She truly has abandoned oh. you. Oh. Now I must report your reappearance. Oh. If you are intent on bringing matters to a head, then seek out the House of Grief in the Lower City. Though, if I was you, I'd be very tempted to just forget it all and disappear. You have some form of doing so, after all. Tempted to attack him, but I don't think that would accomplish much either. Hmm. So, do you have love waiting for you once this is all over? You know what? That is not the easiest of questions for me to answer. <laughs> you mean just waiting? Like a lovesick puppy? Short term amusements are much less hassle. <laughs> With haste. Short term, much less hassle from you, Shadowheart. Okay. Uh, wait, <laughs> where did that come from? Oh, I've heard this guy's name a lot. For what? Do you know her voice? Yeah. 
The refugees. If you don't have anything to donate, you can get going. Um... Take it to the barn myself, of course. Obviously. Yeah, no, I've heard Lazal has, like, her arc and stuff. I was assuming, just from when I first met her, I'm like, okay, she seems, like, very abrasive. I was bummed that Shadowheart stabbed her. I really was, but it's... It just kind of... Is what it is for our playthrough. I'm definitely going to be taking Lazelle as, like, my top companion, though, for, like, a future one. You know? Well, if you must, I suppose it saves me the walk. But if you're going to do it, hurry up. Okay, let's, let's go on in. Here we go. Just want to read, not steal. I have to remind you, some of you, that what is in the barn is for the refugees, not for your dinner. Next one cleans the latrine for the next month. Oh my. What am I supposed to find in here? There's got to be something I'm supposed to find. Obviously, there's things I can steal. I'm not here to steal all their food, though. You know? Like, I could do that, but we don't- we don't need to steal all their food. Hmm... Anything to, like, find in here? I gotta start- This thing. What in hell's most holy name are you doing this season? Um... Don't! <laughs> Oops. Uh. <laughs> What's inside no, of the barn? I just want to see what man it ne <laughs> Oops. Well, there might have been something interesting in there, but um, not anymore. <laughs> what was that? Oh. Okay, now it triggered this right? correctly. Okay, there it goes. It was bugging. There it goes. Um, but I'm as alright as I can be after being next to a fire explosion, you know? What happened here? Looking at, uh... Looking at the donations, and some of them blew oh. up. Those are children's toys. Oh. W which means if a child had picked one up... Yeah, if I hadn't come I in here, think it would have blown up some kids. Oh my How God. do I know you're not the one who planted those explosives? I almost died. Like, really? <laughs> there, there's probably easier things to do, you know? Like, come on. Thank you. All right. I guess it can't hurt. I'll check up on the rest of the goods. You try and find whoever is responsible Okay, now we get to find this. who's responsible. Oh. Huh. I thought this assignment was going to be dull. No such luck. No such luck. Nope. Any of that stuff I want? No, I don't think so. It's like I could check the donations chest. I think we're good. Moving. Let's talk to the pig. Can't give up now. Should mind my step. Hello there. I say, terribly decent of you to come over and exchange pleasantries. Oh, yes. One of the most impressive pigs I've ever seen. Oh, how kind of you to say. I have been growing my bristles out. It's something of an art, you see. Salutations. No, nothing else to say? Okay, someone else has got to talk to him then. I have a lot on my mind. And Can I cast speak with animals? I know I have potions. Oh, come on. Come on, I want to know if he's seen anything interesting. 
We need to, can she cast speak with animals? I think she can cast speak with the dead. Not with animals. I don't think Gale you have can. My attention. I don't think I taught him that. No. What's next? All right. Well, lucky you, Shadowheart. Well, I don't have that many speak with animal potions. Eh, it should be Let's fine. This way. Fun pig. No one back home will ever very, very impressive. I expected him to like want to say more things. Oh no. Letter of complaint. To the Flaming Fist duty officer. I assumed that members of the Flaming Fist were assigned to Rivington to maintain law and order among the refugees. But what do I see? Ragged refugees, big as life and twice as, twice as odorous, walking Rivington streets as if they owned the place instead of keeping decently out of sight in that refugee camp. I warn you, my great aunt knows Blaze Liara Porter personally, and if those refugees aren't rounded up and kept where they belong, the Blaze will hear about it. Sarah Grutpool. Yikes. Well, I feel like Astarian should just do that. Nope, that's not gonna work. That's not gonna work. There's too many people here. Um, still breathing. Okay. Everything. So we still can figure out who murdered. I don't know if we will yet. An order. Let me just go look over here. Make sure I'm thorough and that we're ready to enter the city. You see the city. Up on the hill. Is this something? It's up there. What's up the discussion? Turn back, citizen. No passage in this direction. Oh, the donation record might say who has the teddy bears. Oh. Okay, good point. It's bloodier than a butcher's backyard out there. Piles of dead absolutists, and a few of our own as well. The cultists assaulted the gate, armed to the teeth trying to break in. They nearly had it too, before the steel watch intervened. The battle's For over. Now, but I can't let you pass. We might have repelled an advance party, but they'll strike again. Okay. Oh, she doesn't want me to go through. Let me go back down there real fast. Let me ask around a little bit. Yeah, who's been donating that stuff? Does this guy know anything about the donations? He wasn't very happy about everyone here. I don't know if he go kill children now. The flames. I knew these he does have something to say about it. See, I knew it. Yeah, no, I wish it was him. Um... <sighs> go talk to Nestor if... Nestor... You know an anything? An explosion. Oh, panic. Oh, yes. Oh, no. Okay. Our for Gregorio. Stuffed no toy bears. Unusually weighty. All copies of Lord Gortash's memoirs. Na Nancy Greta. Okay, Nancy and Arthur. You guys are on my list of suspicions. So, who are they? Arthur and Nancy. I gotta keep an eye out for them. Okay, so this is upstairs. And back to the kitchen and all. I still haven't been able to find the what the flowery key is used for. Let me look around some more. Why not? We are his adherents. Who would know if not us? Soup of the realms? The Dippin' soup. Ooh. Cooking stream idea? It's time. Potato we chowder? Oh, I'm taking screenshots. Oh, we're, we're, we're making some potato chowder or something. That sounds great. Cursed to put my hands on everything. Firewine bridge. Sorcerers.
Seems like a good moment to talk. We let more outsiders in, and more Baldurians die. Duke Stelney, Father Lorcan, it's no coincidence. We have faith here, Bill. Faith in people, no matter where they're from. Who had more faith than Father Lorcan? How did that work out? <laughs> My clown makeup, no. Merge priest died. Condolences. Thank you, stranger. Father this Lord is a ru first run through. Passing has saddened us all. Passing? He was murdered by one of the fugitives he was harboring. Bill, I beg you, be quiet. Even sinners receive Ilmater's grace, and Father Lorgan knew that. We don't pick and choose who we aid. Mm -hmm. Sure, your god would be proud of Thank him you. then. Stranger. The staring disapproves. I take some solace knowing that he died in Ilmater's service. Does Ilmater's service involve protecting heretic absolutists? Or perhaps I missed that sermon. Enough, Bill. You seem a kind soul. Our temple is open to you. Walk well. Hmm. Of exactly this. Exactly. Well, I'll have to keep looking around. I'm not entirely sure what else we need to do yet, and I'm getting a bit tired, so I think I'm probably gonna call it here. Maybe I need more pockets. This is a pretty area. I'll have to go check out some of these other little spots. Like, look, we can go like down here, though. Well. That's like a whole direction. Interesting. And that is going to be it for me tonight. Thank you very much for joining. I appreciate it very, very much. And uh, especially if you're watching on YouTube, thank you very much over there. And everyone here on Twitch, just thank you guys so much. Um, let me wrap it up and say goodbye. But until next time for YouTube, thank you all.